My name is Tariq Bradfield. I'm the hardest hitting safety coming into the league, and I'm also known as the next Cam Chancellor. Now, after balling out in the preseason, it's finally time for my NFL debut. And I get to play against Kirk Cousins and the Vikings. Yeah, we finna ball out. Now, coming out of college, I'm more of a raw talent, but I'm still a freak of nature. I'm 6'4", I'm real fast. Just my coverage skills are kind of lacking, but I'm a hard hitter, and that's all that matters to me. Because coming out of LSU, everybody knew me for just being a hard hitter. And that's why coming out of college, I had comparisons to like Cam Chancellor and players like that. And the main reason I was drafted to the Packers because Jair Alexander actually wanted me on the team. He texted the coach, he texted the GM, because he wanted me to this team, and hey man, that's a lot I could offer. With me being a safety and being this big, I could play sub linebacker. And I could also be in the back, just playing back just like a safety. So I could be all around the field. Also, I played a little bit of cornerback in high school, so hey man, I'm ready. Though I was never that good on man coverage, like on this play, I allowed this first down. I was never really that good at man because I'm really a zone guy, but hopefully I end up getting way better at that this season in the NFL. But really my favorite position to be at is in the middle line, the sub linebacker position because I get to blow up screens, I get to disrupt runs and stuff, yeah, it's fun down here. Now I'm not that good at man coverage, but one thing I can do is jump routes. Kirk Cousins tried to throw this corner route, but y'all already know I get back there and get my first pick of my NFL career. Offense scored a touchdown and Jair was feeding off of my energy and he ends up catching a pick that ends up going for six. It's the third quarter now. We're already up 24 to 3 and Jair is feeling it. He catches another pick. I don't know why Kirk Cousins keeps on trying to test him, but hey man, he's trying to be the best cornerback in the league and he's going to be that. Now, I don't know what Kirk Cousins was thinking on this play right here, but I guess he got scared and just threw this ball up. And this was going straight to one of our linebackers. It's another pick for us. We're definitely going to lead the league in picks this season. Well, 37 to 3 in the fourth quarter, and when you think it's over, it's really not. Jair wants another pick. He gets three picks in one game. Definitely setting an example. I really shouldn't be showing the score for how bad we beat them. 37 to 3, that's tough. That boy Jair Alexander had three picks with a touchdown. I also had a pick, and Kawhi Walker had a pick. Safe to say Jair locked up Justin Jefferson. After a dominating win against the Vikings, we just saw how good our defense is. And Justin Fields is not super so Douglas, and he ends up catching this pick. Hey man, if we're just gonna be catching picks all season, I'm fucking with you. After that pick six, we got them a third and seven. He tries to escape the pocket, but he getting sacked. Now we're up 10 to zero, and I tried to bait the quarterback and throw in this flat route. Right? He does, and I jump this route to catch my second pick of my NFL career. Surprisingly, Jordan Love is actually putting up points, and Justin Fields is just giving us the ball at this point. He throws another pick to us, but this time it goes to Darnell Savage. And he takes us all the way home for six. We're now up 20 to zero before halftime and it's third down. So Justin Fields just throws his ball up to Chase Claypool. And of course he catches it over our DB and scores a touchdown. Now it's 20 to seven and they got the ball at half. And yeah, we're not allowing that running shit. Y'all gotta pass the ball. Now, right when they thought they had momentum coming out of halftime, we're playing great defense again. He gets sacked, and we're getting the ball right back. About two minutes left in this game, and Justin Fields does a read option that almost gets in the touchdown, but we stuff him. Second and goal, it feels like we're playing pretty good defense, but Justin Fields just throws his ball up, and we get dunked on. 
they're a touchdown away from winning this game. Now all we need is for offense to just get three points. And of course, offense gave them a chance to win this game, but he tried to throw this ball into the flats, and of course, I'm there, and I catch this pick six to secure the victory. This was a game we shouldn't have almost lost, honestly. Our defense is too good, bro. Now, this game, I had two picks and a touchdown. Darnell Savage had a pick, and Russell Douglas had a pick. It was crazy. I'm starting to realize a common theme on our team. We love to catch picks in the first quarter. Eric Stokes catches his first pick of the season, jumping a curl route. Now, on the second down, they try to run the ball, and I hit this running back hard as hell. Now, I'm surprised he didn't drop the ball. In college, they're dropping a lot more. Like, in college, I'm pretty sure I had the most forced fumbles of all time, but coming to the NFL, I know they're not going to be losing that ball as much as they did in college. But one thing I did not expect was how good Jair Alexander is. Like, look, he just jumps every single route. He catches another pick. Up 10-0 now in the fourth quarter, there. finally they got to the red zone, but the, we're stopping them. We're not going to let them score. Third and goal, and honestly, there's open people on this play, but he just decides to throw it up, and it's a bad pass. After we held them three points, our offense did not score even a field goal, so now they have a chance to tie this game up. Jordan Love, we're going to need you to, you know what I'm saying, start doing something. But really, Jordan Love is lucky that he has the best defense in the league. Eric Stokes jumped this route, catches his second pick, of this season and it goes for six now we're up 17 and three so we're really in a comfortable lead and they just force this ball up and they end up scoring off of this i don't know who it was on but yeah but anyways we're gonna win this game 17 to 10 offense y'all gotta do better I mean, just look at how ass of a game jordan love had those in this game with two picks and a touchdown jire also had a pick I didn't catch pick this game, but I still have five tackles tag for loss. We got the Patriots all the way backed up on third down, but they hit us with a running play we was not expecting, and they ended up getting this first down. Now, we really got lucky with our schedule. For me, as a rookie, I get to come in the league and play trash teams to warm up. And really, other than defense, we look like a top defense in the league, except for plays like this when we get dunked on by receivers like Devontae Parker. We're up 3-0, and they try to run the ball, but me being a heat sick and missile, I get to the running back and hit him. It's not a second half. They're trying to run the ball, but I'm hit sticking they running back and forcing my first forced fumble in the NFL. Still only up 3-0, and it's third and four in the red zone. We played some amazing defense and got a sack. That's a big sack because we are not trying to lose this game. Offense finally decided to score and on fourth and one. We stopped that game time drive with a big stop on fourth and one. Good shit, Kenny Clark. Another game that should not have been close, but we still won 13 3. This wasn't too crazy of a game. I still had five tackles, though. Is our defense going to be good enough to carry our offense throughout the season? 